Hi my dear students, how are you? Hope you are doing good. Hello, Bachelo. Kaise ho? Badiya. Chalo. Aaj mai jo YouTube video banana ja raha. Isme the important questions for CBSC and the state syllabus questions I am going to explain. So what difference makes for other faculties and I am going to teach. Let us see and subscribe to get 100% of marks, 100% of marks in a, or 100% in CBSC or state level of physics board examinations. So here when we see first topic is law of conservation of energy in freely falling body and simple pendulum and time period then a thermodynamics heat engine then a Carnot engine then a work and kinetic energy then circular motion chalo bachalo hum start karenge first law of conservation of energy so law of conservation of energy freely falling body first of conservation of energy so in a freely falling body how many types of energies body is taken to certain height it will have two types of energies first is at certain height it will have potential energy when it is falling it will be having some kinetic energy so kinetic energy definition is the every body possess kinetic energy by virtue of its motion a body possesses kinetic energy by virtue of its motion. Potential energy due to its height or the position it will have potential energy. So this conservation of energy or the total energy is nothing but mechanical energy will be called We have to conserve that but it should remain constant. Now let us start. <coughs> let us take a, a body of mass m body of mass m is a uh, falling from certain heights it's falling from certain heights just we are dropping it here the uh, initial velocity of it is zero so everybody says that initial velocity is zero this is at a particular height let us take it as h Everybody says that when it is freely falling, initial velocity is zero. Why initial velocity is zero? Can you tell? Because here when it is at certain height, when you lift it to certain height, it will have only potential energy. So at that point, kinetic energy is zero. Kinetic energy is zero. That means here it will have only potential energy and kinetic energy is zero. Now let us take uh, this point is A, this point, uh, some middle point will be taking, this point is B, this point is A, and this point is C. This is nothing but a ground level we will take. This is what ground level. It's okay. <coughs> so let us consider a body of mass dropping from certain height H certain height h. So let us take point A, point B and point C during its journey. Now here I am saying that u is equal to 0. Because when it is at certain height it will have only potential energy. So now at point A, at point A, at point A, at point A, we have a kinetic energy at a point A equals to half m V A square. 
Your know, VA is nothing but the loss state point A is 0. As VA equals to 0, then kinetic energy at this point A equal to 0. So much better, question. So much better, you know? Kinetic energy at the point A is what? 0. Now potential energy, potential energy at point A is mg into h mg into h potential energy now what is the total energy now total energy or you can call it as mechanical energy at point A equals to addition of this one let us uh, write here total energy at point A by total energy at point A equals to mechanical energy at point A equals to kinetic energy at point A plus potential energy at the point A which is nothing but mgh is potential energy plus kinetic energy is what? Zero. Or if you want uh, you can write in the order like this. So this is potential energy at the point A plus kinetic energy at the point T. Now total energy or the mechanical energy, mechanical energy at the point A equals to mg into h. This is what mechanical energy. Is it clear? Are you able to see? Okay, sure. Till here, you are able to see in that way. Now, <coughs> next we come into this part. So, here conservation of energy means even at a point B also you should have MGH and at point C also you should have what? MGH. Then only we will be saying it as conservation of energy in a case of freely falling body. Now let us take uh, at this point it is travelled at a distance of X. Now can you tell me what is this remaining distance? What is the remaining distance? H minus, H minus, H minus X. X. So H minus X, right? It is H minus X. Now when it is traveling here, we don't know velocity at this point. Velocity at this point is question mark. So first we have to calculate velocity at this point. Now when it is at this height, when it is reached to this height, it has a potential energy because this is at a height of what? How much? H minus X. H minus X. Now potential energy at the point, potential energy at point B is equal to mg into H minus X. H minus X. Okay. Is it clear? Because it is at a height of what? H minus X. Now next term. Kinetic energy, we want kinetic energy at the point B equals to half mvb square. But we don't know Vb, how to calculate that Vb, velocity at that point. Now this is distance travelled by it. Initial velocity is 0. Final velocity we want distance travelled is x. A is nothing but the g. A is how much? G. Acceleration due to gravity. A is equal to G. Can you tell me U, V, X and A? What is the kinematic equation? V we know that. U, V we have to calculate. U we know. And X distance travel we know. Acceleration we know. This. What is the relation? What is the equation of kinematic equation? What is the equation v square minus u square is equals to 2 a s so v square minus u square equals to 2 a into s this is a b this is nothing but a this is the initial velocity this is final velocity 2 a into s now substitute here if you substitute the v b square equals to 2 g into x this is distance travelled by x take this and substitute in the equation if you substitute kinetic energy at a point b equals to half m 
G into S into 2, 2, 2 will get the answer. Now, kinetic energy at a point B equals to mg into x kinetic energy at point B. Clear? Now, just your total energy we require. Total energy. To calculate total energy, let us take a total energy. Total energy or mechanical energy at a point B equals to total energy which is nothing but at point B equals to kinetic energy plus potential energy at that point. At that point. Right. Now, what is uh, mechanical energy at a point B equals to this potential energy at a point B is mg x minus x and uh, kinetic energy at a point B is mg x. So, substituting here half mg into h minus mgx minus okay plus total energy this is nothing but mgx mgx we able to see this one that, right so this to get answer this to get answer now what is mechanical energy at point b point b how much we are getting mgx so mechanical energy at point b Point B, mechanical energy at point B equals to mg into H. Is it clear? mg into H. Now, next one, we want the, at this point, the loss. At this point, we require it as. Now, let us uh, do here. As it reaches at this bottom, height will become what? Zero. Height is becoming zero. So potential energy at this point, potential energy at point C equals to zero. Because height is zero. Height is how much? Zero. Now next, uh, what is the velocity at this point? Velocity at the point C equals to how much? Velocity at that point is how much? Now to calculate that one, we know this velocity and this velocity. This is zero and this is nothing but final velocity. Distance travelled is how much? H. Again we will be applying V square minus V square is equals to 2A into S. V square minus V square is equal to 2A into S. So V square minus V square minus Q square is equals to 2A into S. So here uh, C, this is nothing but A, Vc square equals to, as it is touching, before touching the ground, this is nothing but before touching the ground we require S. Now, V square equals to 2G into H, Vc square. Now, kinetic energy at a point uh, C equals to half Mv square, V square is nothing but 2G H. Answer check. Now, what is the kinetic energy at a point C equals to mg into h? Kinetic energy at a point C is equal to mgh. Potential energy at a point C is equal to mgh. Now, here kinetic energy at a point A is equal to 0. Here uh, mechanical energy is mgh. Potential energy at a point A is equal to mgh. And uh, next here, kinetic energy at uh, point B equals to mg h minus x. Kinetic energy at uh, point B is equal to half uh, mv square. Now if you take the total energy for this one, total energy, <coughs> let me write here, total energy, total energy. Total energy at a point C is equal to kinetic energy at a point C plus potential energy at a point C. Right? Now, kinetic energy at a point C is how much? MGH, MGH plus 0. Then our total energy at a point C is equal to MG into H. Now, when you see here, 
total energy at the point C is MGH. Mechanical energy or total energy at point A is MGS. Here we will be writing mechanical energy at point C is MGS. Mechanical energy at point A is MGS. Mechanical energy at point C is MGS. Okay. So what is it? चलो लिख दिए इतना है now what is the proof of this part let us see here raising this parts so what is the conclusion what is the conclusion mechanical energy at point A equals to mechanical energy at point C equals to mechanical energy at the point B equal to mechanical energy at point C is equal to mg into h right. is it clear this one mg into h at all points it will be mg into h this is a normal way to Prove that law of conservation of energy for a freely falling world. But uh, by writing this, we cannot get full marks. If you write as it is like this, you don't get full marks. Now, how to write this one? Okay, how to present in board examination? Let us see that one. You can pause and uh, copy this one. Now, <clears throat> presentation parts. How to present? Presentation. First thing is aim of the aim. Aim. Prove law of conservation of energy in the case of freely falling water. If you write that word, at least you will be getting half mark for that. Most of them are ignored this once for forms. <coughs> so aim of it is nothing but proof law of conservation of energy in the case of freely falling body. Next up, <coughs> description or explanation. Explanation. Explanation if you take it as this is first one, second one, explanation. In this one, let us consider a body of mass M is dropped from height H. Right. Is dropped from certain height H. Then uh, let us consider A, B, C are the three points. First point is point number one. Let us consider a body of mass M freely falling from certain height H. The first one. And second point, if you take it as second point. Let us consider A, B, C are the three points in its journey. Then it is freely falling. Next, third point. Third point here. At a point A, as it is freely falling and it is at a certain height. As it is freely falling and it is at a certain height, it will have some potential energy. That is the third point. And the initial velocity of it is nothing but zero. Initial velocity is what? Zero. Now, next uh, fourth point. Fourth point. Here the total energy is in the form of potential energy. Kinetic energy is zero. Mechanical energy is in the form of potential energy. Next, when it reaches to a distance x or if we travel through a distance of x, it is traveling through a distance of x, then a calculation of velocity at the point the B as follows. Just you can write that points. Next again uh, we are showing that at a point B potential total energy is in the form of what? Potential energy. Mg into H. Next uh, fifth one and then we take it as 
fifth one, fifth point. When it reaches the ground, height becomes zero. Before touching, that, that point is very important. Before touching the ground, the velocity, what is the velocity? By using kinematic equation, we have to calculate. So these are the five points we have to write in explanation. Next, uh, third point is derivation points. Derivation. Derivation. So derivation just now we discussed it as if you write that term, uh, derivation. Then uh, fourth one is diagram. Always after A, you have to draw the diagram here. So diagram to be drawn after A. Diagram. Diagram always carries one mark if it is neatly labeled. And definitely you have to draw the diagram with a pencil. With a pencil. Okay. Is it clear? With a pencil we have to draw neatly. Right? Next. After that, second one. Fourth one. <coughs> this is aim, diagram, explanation and derivation. Next the results. Results. So finally we have to give what? Results. What is the result? This is what? Results. Mechanical energy at a point A equals to mechanical energy at a point B equals to mechanical energy at a point C should be equal to what? Mg. This is what? Results. Then uh, 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. So 5 marks in CBS will be awarded if you write, if you follow this steps. If you keep the headings like this, beautiful, then uh, it will impact more and more in that right? in the examination. So presentation is very very important to get full marks in board examinations. Is it clear? Aim, diagram, explanation, derivation, result. So it will vary for uh, question to question. In this question, these are the points we have to keep with the headings. If you are writing with the black pen, your blue pen, headings keep headings with black pen and write the complete remaining thing with what? Blue pen so that it looks legible. It looks what? Legible. Have you understood this one? All of you? Right. If you like this video, subscribe for more videos. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and it proved to be knowledgeable. If you did, please like and subscribe. As the exams are coming here, which way to be helpful to you? And it is also a kind request from Physics Train GRB that you please pause the video and take down notes. And also happy Republic Day guys and uh, best of luck for your exams. Thank you. Thank you. Like and subscribe Physics Frames CRP. Please like and subscribe Physics Frames CRP.